<laughs> most people fall under pressure because you don't have a game plan. Be a legacy builder. I ask people this question. When you leave one job to another, it's not about what you're getting out of that. It's not about how much money you're getting out of that. It's about what you're becoming. So I ask people, what are you becoming by taking this opportunity? Mm. Does it grow you in any way? What does it mean for you in five years, 10 years time coming from now? Yeah. So I think patience goes with a game plan. If I ask you now, where do you see yourself in five years? My boss asked me where I see myself in five years. Yes. I was in varsity at the time, yes. doing my second year internship at Avatar. Yes. And at that time, uh, the, the lady's name was Lizzie. That's, that's her name. She was the head of social media. She was my boss, mm -hmm. right? And she asked me what you see yourself in, in, in five years time. And my answer was sitting in your chair, you know, in your position, mm -hmm. which I am today. Mm -hmm. But the point is that when you've got a game plan, it's easier for you to be patient with either God or with the process because you know you've got a game plan and you give yourself enough time for your craft, for your talent or whatever it is to actually mature yes. into something that's big. Something else I don't like is this thing of changing jobs every now and then. You spend five years moving from one company to another, whereas you could have actually spent the five years in one business and you could have grown and developed into something, yeah. you know, and see grow. Yeah, so me, to me, I don't really have a problem with people changing jobs. Yeah. I have a problem with people not having a reason why they're living. I have a problem with people that are not dedicated to growth, mm -hmm. right? And if you're moving and you're not growing, mm -hmm. that's a problem. Mm -hmm. As of now, I still drive a micro. Mm -hmm. I can buy a Lamborghini. I pay people more than what a Lamborghini worth per month. Mm -hmm. But again, that's not my happiness, yeah. right? My happiness is how many people can mm -hmm. I help? Mm -hmm. How many people you're blessed is how you measure your success. Yeah. And, and if that's then going to get the message across, mm -hmm. then I'm happy. Again, it's a measure of, you know, what's your, what, what the reason is, or a measure of where you want to get to. Mm -hmm. If growth is not part of it, mm -hmm. you are a lost soul. People need to get mentors to be able to help them grow better, mm -hmm. right? If somebody has done something before, there's a lot of people that have done well that are willing to teach. Mm -hmm. Find mentorship, find people who are doing what you've done yeah. so that they'll be able to prepare you to get to where you want to get. Like you said, you said to your boss, I want to be in this chair in the next five years. Yeah. And through training, dedication, you know, passion. Upskilling myself. Upskilling yourself, yeah. you, you're able to get there. Yeah. For me, I think with young people, and I'm speaking to young people, people because I'm a young person myself and I understand the struggles and pressures that young people actually face on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. But one thing I can tell you, you need to be very patient with the process, man. You need to trust the process because before you can build anything, there's a foundation, there's all sorts of things that go in before you even get to the point where you've got a full structure that's built. There's no such thing as instant success or overnight success. You only see those things with these forex traders that you find on social media who need your money to make you more money but they're making themselves money or whatever the case may be. But from, from a real business point of view, in terms of you know looking at people that are actually doing well in business, you ask them, man, everyone has gone through the journey. You know, everyone has gone through the struggles, the losses, the betrayals, the disappointment. So you need to be very patient with yourself and you need to trust the process. Yeah. When you knock on the door and they say no, that's not the end of the world, right? You need to always understand that tomorrow you go, you try again, and eventually um, something will happen. That's the thing that we need to talk about. So it gives you the clarity in terms of patience. It's also, you know, helps you to compete with yourself. When I look at patience and look at where I am now, and you ask the question, how do you, what do you do to, you know, and what have you done to be able to be where you are? Same story, compete with yourself. And on patience, you know, going back to the cooking topic, uh, patience also helps you not make hasty decisions. Yes. Because it's easy for you to always see a shortcut in everything. You know, um, people see shortcuts on a day-to-day -day basis and you're thinking, oh, the only way I can get this tender is if I sleep with this guy. The only way if I get, I can get, the only way I can get a job is if I sleep with this guy or whatever the case is. You don't need to do all of that. You know, and, and I know that's what's happening currently in the society, but you don't need to conform to that. You don't need to stoop that low. 
if you are patient enough with yourself, the right opportunity will come for you, you know? In business, you don't need to do the wrong things to get ahead. Yeah. I, I have a saying I like that says, um, do not burn bridges to light up your own way. Yeah. Right? Where you find yourself now making the wrong decisions in business, betraying people, you know, and all sorts of things just because you're trying to get ahead. That won't last. And the same good things come to those who wait, wait. right? Yeah. That's patience. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to wait for stuff, you're never going to get the good things. Be a legacy builder and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.